all new EPSO Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a brand new robot. That is right, this here is the all new Robison Lightyear. Finally in the flesh, I've actually checked out this video over a year ago and I finally bought one and got one here today to go and showcase to you guys as well. Now together we'll be unboxing as well as trying and see exactly does it actually hold up to its name. Now Robison makes a lot of cool products that we previously reviewed from Grimlock to Optimus Prime to K1 Pro. Everything is superb and this one here I have high hopes for. So without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Alright, so this is the packaging. This here is the box. Now I went ahead and opted in for the Infinity package which allows us to go ahead and get a few more details including accessories and it's actually creating more or less a model-like character. Now uh, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, check it out. Uh, so you have the iconic Robeson packaging with the blueprint of the robot, of course. So over here we got uh, Buzz Lightyear kind of staring about, looking really cool, of course. Uh, and then as you kind of rotate it, uh, it does say here, Buzz Lightyear technology, innovation, and free action. Kind of right here, kind of marching about. <laughs> All right, so it does come with a pretty darn big case. Uh, you can technically use this to carry it about like this. Ugh, very heavy though. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock this. <laughs> wow. So many different accessories and the details on this are absolutely, just looking at it is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. So we have our jet pack, we have the different hand pieces, uh, we have a little squirt bottle, we have a weapon, a sword, uh, we have his laser, different faces, uh, we even have that robotic cat, and then of course we have a light here. All right, they actually did a great job with this in terms of the details. A lot of different materials off the back that I can see. Um, I don't know if this actually opens up even more. Or does it? Oh, I think the other side has the other accessories. It's interesting how this kind of works. So you have a double-sided suitcase, essentially what it is, and then this side here also has our base, what? So we get this unique looking case where the robot can stand in, um, and yeah, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so this here is gonna be our user manual, our start guide, and our safety manual. Three instructions, some decals, and then this here's our base. I believe this is our top. Comes with some oh, pexi glass. That's cool. And then you have these frame pieces here as well. We have our specific stand. We have a little box and another box. Uh, before we look at actually Buzz himself, I want to take a look at this particular casing because that's actually a really cool piece that I wanted to showcase. So this is our base. So this will kind of go in here and then uh, let's get a little screwdriver there and kind of screw that in. What? It even comes with its own. <laughs> Check it out. So you do get a dog tag with that says uh, Robeson and it says Lightyear and then of course Buzz gets his own too as well to go ahead and match you. That is sick. And then over here it's going to be more or less our power adapter. All right so yeah we'll set these to aside for now before uh, we get into anything else. I want to build this particular set here. Voila, we went ahead and created our case. So on the top there's the four double A's. You press the button there and it actually kind of illuminates a little bit. Which we'll check out in just a little bit. Got this nice looking plaque that shows your serial number. Overall, pretty darn cool. So that is our case. So this here is Buzz. <laughs> and wow, check out the materials on this. This almost feels like a live action like character. Uh, on the back side here, there should be a little, yep, that's it. So this will go ahead and pop open. You can see the USB-C cable to go ahead and charge it. Uh, that will just kind of slide up just like that. You can go ahead and charge it via there using the USB-C. Uh, again, very difficult to get a hold of, but it works. All right, so we're gonna hold this button here to turn them on. One, two, three, four, five. I've uh, got some LEDs there, and he's on. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Hey, Buzz. Roger that. 
That's so cool. He talks. Record mission log. Buzz like your mission log, starting 3901. All right. So, yeah, definitely looks really cool. And you can go ahead and put on his uh, cover just like that. Just press that button just like that. Now he's ready to go. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of different accessories as well. So uh, before we do anything else, I'm going to go and just turn them off for a quick second. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Affirmative. Goodbye. So I believe he stands on here. Um, so this will kind of go up where the charter point is, just like that. And then I believe this will just kind of slide in there. So Buzz is now officially on the stand. Uh, so that is great. And then of course there is the app integration that we'll be doing next to see what other features Buzz has. But before we do, I want to take a quick look at what else they gave us. So obviously they gave us some more accessories. Uh, which is all these other fun goodies over here. Uh, we have the cool looking jet pack. Uh -huh. So that comes out, that little, little rubber piece comes out. And then this will magnetically attach. There we are. So we have our wings now. And then we have uh, different accessories, including the laser. So we can go ahead and place that on his arm. We have the different facial expressions for Buzz. So we have socks right over here, uh, fully poseable. Lots of different things in there to go ahead and move him about. And he even has a little, little chain on him too. So that's kind of cool that they have it detailed like that. You can place it next to Buzz. There we are. <laughs> a lot smaller than I was expecting. Um, and then the little squirt bottle for him to drink water out of. Uh, we even have a sword. Check this out. And you press the trigger. Oh, wow. It's even got an LED in it. You have your different uh, pieces here. So this here is like a, a little that he has. And yeah, overall pretty darn cool looking. You have your different hand pieces uh, as well as weapon holder pieces. So if you want to make him hold a weapon, you could do that too. And yeah, let's just go ahead and open up the app next and try this out. This here's our app. Uh, we have Bluetooth control. So if I click this here, now, supposedly it does have a jetpack control where it actually can shoot out smoke. So you gotta put water in the jetpack. So let's do that. Ah, so there's like two little spots to add the water. Let's do that really quick. All right, so I went ahead and added water to our jetpack and we reattach it. Okay. Whoa. They can control everything here, it's so cool. All right, so we have flight control and then we have base control. So this is when it's on its lowest. So flight control means when it's on its highest like this. And then now I can hit flight and I hit flying. <laughs> Please refill the jet back in time. Which I already did. Okay, and we're gonna do vapor control. There we go. And we can pick the color of the LED for that. That is so cool. We are not the same. I have to go back. So we can do hyperspeed. <laughs> we are not the same. I have to go back. This is flying. And then reset will goes back into our base station and we could do fighting. Left hand. Right hand. That's pretty cool. There's like a lot of different animations in this thing. All right, so that is essentially our Bluetooth control. Uh, these here are action. So this here is can do. Let's go finish the mission. And this here is dance. Stay away from me. This here is defense. How do you know about stealth mode? Stealth mode is very simple. This here's hello. Was like you're reporting for duty. <laughs> Is he? You know, her grandmother was the greatest space ranger in the history of the core. So this tells you which hand pieces to choose from. So this is right should be like this one, which is not obviously this, but just kind of shows you what it looks like. This is Buzz like you're. Uh, no matter the cost, you will never quit. Whatever the galaxy may throw your way. So this is mission complete. We did it. Socks, we did it. 
So socks is supposed to be here. <laughs> uh, this is mocking. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, that's like the iconic one right there. Um, this is actually pretty cool. So there's a lot of different things in here. Uh, so this one here is. Look around. There is nothing to do. The mission. So you can see that there's actually quite a few in here. Um, now we can also do some flight ones. So flight one would be indicating us bringing it up just like this. And then from there, this one is uh, open fire, which is requires us to put a gun in his left one. Uh, so let's try that real quick. Star Command Officer, I grant you emergency authority. <laughs> terrain. Afraid of space. I can take out the weapon there. This is like a salute pose. There you are. Was like your mission log. In order to repair our ship, we have to find some way to get inside the command center. <laughs> but yeah, so you can see that there's actually a lot in here, and under Dalla Center, you can see a few other ones as well. Uh, so this one here is. Alien Intersect. Let's just try this. And then you'll see it under Downloads, which is this one right here. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. All right, so that is essentially actions. So there's a lot of different things in there under Missions. Uh, this will teach you about coding. So it's similar to some of the other ones here. So you can go ahead and uh, sync up the different motions and create your own animation based off of that. Uh, you have block speed, which is going to be your drag and drop display. Hey, Socks, let's play a game. So very similar to some of the original. I like this. And you can go ahead and create different motions based off of block. So that's actually pretty cool that they have like blocky. Uh, and then you can add an action. Uh, you can go ahead and essentially it's, it's designed to be STEM education, which is obviously really cool. So that is that in terms of mission types. And then of course you have create, which you go ahead and create your very own. Ready for another adventure? Uh, so if I start here, I can unlock specific things here. So if I want to unlock all of them, I can hit start and then make my specific pose that I want. Hit sync and then hit add. It'll add that specific motion. And then if I want to do another one like this and hit sync and then add that motion. From there, I can go and hit play and should play that motion. Just like that. Pretty cool. So that's really nice. You can add music and create your own effect as well as motions based off of that. And then of course you can always upload it as necessary. So that is that in a nutshell. Now on the left side here, we have a few other things here. So this is to connect. Uh, this here's volume. This here is joining the Facebook group. And then this here's our settings. So we can control the uh, sound. We can update it. Uh, we have our language, voice command. So these are all the different voice commands. So you can be like, hey, Buzz. Roger that. Turn right. You're mocking me, aren't you? Turn right. You're mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> hey, Buzz. Move forward. Well, that's very kind of you, sir, but well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. So you can't actually move forward, which I find interesting. Well, that's very kind of you, sir, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. Hey, Buzz. Roger that. Move forward. Well, that's very kind of you, sir, but well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. Yeah, you can't do that, so <laughs> that's unfortunate. Hey, Buzz. Roger that. Show. Operation Surprise Party is back on. Hey, Buzz. Roger that. Are we alone? There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. <laughs> All right, so that's I'll kind show of... You. That's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, obviously, one of my favorite features is the jetpack control. Uh, for some reason, every time I put, I put water in there, but it thinks there's no water. 
keep saying make sure there's sufficient, but look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> that is absolutely mind boggling. Um, are not the same. And then it turns off. I have to go back. I think you can only do it for a certain amount of time. You can't keep doing it, unfortunately. But yes, very cool. And yeah, that is that in a nutshell. So overall, a really cool design concept. I think they did a great job with it. Definitely highlights Buzz and all of his features. Um, one thing to note is that it's a significantly highly detailed robot. In other words, it's not what you think it is. It's actually a model piece more than anything else that can move, uh, not the other way around. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think they did a phenomenal job. Now, if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.